Alex Sharon is my guest on News Talk 710 KURV. He is a cybersecurity expert with over a decade of experience. He is a partner at Headstorm and the former CTO of a publicly traded company and, again, has over a decade of experience in commercial and cybersecurity leadership. So when it comes to this warning by the White House of ransomware attacks over the weekend, is this warning specifically targeting, you know, business owners, whether they're small business owners, big business owners, or just you know, people who are easily hacked? Uh, I think the answer is yes. <laughs> that's uh, a good all one. of the above. <laughs> I, I really do think that that's that's the case. Uh, a lot of the times the money is with uh, some of the companies. Um, and, you know, one of the kind of strategies that we're seeing emerge here in, in recent months is, you know, people will go after, the bad guys will actually go after the insurer of a particular company's cyber policy, insurance policy that they have, and they'll find out exactly what the amount of coverage is. And then when they ransom the company itself, they know exactly how much to ask minus $1 to make sure that it's something that's covered by their insurer. So that's one of the things we see emerging, you know, full circle back to back to your question to the White House. Is it specific to any particular industry or, or size of business at the enterprise or small business level? And the answer is no, it's really, it's really everybody. And when I see that, I really say, hey, you know, this is not uncommon. It's the weekend, first of all. And we see a spike typically on, on Fridays. And the, the reason is, you know, people go home for the weekend. And a lot of the time, depending on the coverage of a security operations team, they'll go home for the weekend, too. And depending on how things are set up on their uh, threat detection systems, sometimes the notifications are a little bit spotty or no one's checking them over the weekend. And then all of a sudden it's a holiday weekend, right? And so we add another day onto that weekend. It's even more time away. The idea behind that, as I put my bad guy hat on, is there's a longer time to detection if I were to get in. Mm-hmm. So that that's why you see this kind of announcement coming out ahead of a holiday weekend, not unlike what you saw for Fourth of July uh, weekend before this. So that's kind of the thought process behind there. Alex, thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully I get to have you on the program again. That is Alex. He is a cybersecurity expert. My guest on his talk 710 KURV.